Okay, Dominicans, it's me again. Tonight, I am going back to the desecration of the Dominica flag. Some time ago, when, well, a couple of days ago, actually, when we discovered that Roosevelt's carrot, dictator Roosevelt's carrot, had put, I don't know if he did it himself or he instructed somebody to do it or if they did it on his behalf, whatever, his face happened to be on our national flag. And I said that I was going to put my face on a flag just to get the reaction from that action because since our noted historian came and justified that action and tried to get excuses for it, I thought, you know, I said I was going to do that just to see what the reaction would be. But people, I would never do such a thing. I just said that to get your reaction and to make a very strong point, people, because this is this is opening a can of worms. So I was looking for stories where leaders had their images on the national flag. I didn't even go into the dictators because we all know, we all know that it is a hallmark of dictatorship for leaders to put their images on the flags and the other national buildings. But I found a story that was very interesting. interesting. I didn't even know about this one, but in my search I found it, people. And it is a story that MSNBC ran some time ago, um, where some overzealous Obama supporters altered the American flag a bit and put his image on the flag. It's right there. And my God, did it anger, did it anger some Americans, veterans especially. Here's the story, people. Here's the story, people. And I think Dominicans, right now you are supposed to do the same. You are supposed to tell these people whoever designed that flag and wherever these flags exist to tell them to get rid of these flags and hold Skerritt accountable for it. Skerritt was well aware of it because he was standing right underneath the Dominican flag with his image on it. People, this is an affront. Okay, it so happened, people, that some overzealous supporters of Obama had, they altered the flag a little bit, they removed the stars, and in the place of his stars, they just used the stripes, the stripes part of the flag, and put Obama's image where the stars were supposed to be, and the veterans did not take that too lightly. So this is how the story goes, people. A group of veterans angered by an American flag bearing the image of President Barack Obama descended on the local Democratic Party headquarters in Central Florida and demanded that the flag be taken down. It was, but not before hated words were exchanged between the two sides, media report says. Obama's face filled the blue and stars section of the flag, which was flying underneath the traditional American one on a flagpole at the Lake County Democratic Party headquarters. It is a cold personality to show his face, like Stalin or Mayo Tong. Stalin or Mayo Tong, those are two dictators that they were referring to. John Master John, a former Marine and retired school teacher from Lisbon, told the Orlando Sentinel, it is despicable. They don't realize how sick they are. The Obama flag had been flying two months before it was noticed by Lisbon veteran Jim Bradford, who spotted it over the weekend and then sent pictures of it to his friends and veteran groups. When I saw the flag, when I saw the picture on the flag, I thought it was wrong, he told the Daily Commercial. I really hate seeing the flag not being respected, and to me, it was not respectful to do that. 
but our noted historian said it's all right it's okay it's acceptable it's normal flag protocol when i saw the picture on the flag i thought it was wrong he told the daily commercial i really hate seeing the flag not being respected and to me it was not respectful he added that the issue wasn't about politics. It is not about politics, people. It is not about politics. I really don't care what party it is. If, I had been, if it had been a picture of Romney on the flag, I would have done the same thing. A small group of veterans went to the office Tuesday afternoon and demanded that it be removed or they would take it down themselves. They alleged it was a violation of the federal flag code, though altering an American flag doesn't constitute a crime. Jim Lake, an adjunct professor at the Stetson University College of Law in Tampa, told the Sentinel. For good reason, these folks went, went, want to encourage respect for the flag. And while such an alteration may be considered disrespectful, the federal government does not allow penalties against those who disrespect the flag, Lake said. The federal flag code is just standards on how civilians might use the flag, he said, noting that the Supreme Court has ruled that those who burn or intentionally desecrate the flag are protected by the First Amendment. Nancy Hubert, chairman of the local Democratic Party, told the group that they could not remove the flag, which was given as a gift. We are proud of our president, we are proud of the United States, and we felt it was time to display that. She eventually took it down after Don Van Back, executive director of the Veterans Memorial and Korean War veteran, read a portion of the federal flag code that the article should never have placed upon it or any part of it any marks, insignia, letters, words, figures, designs, picture of drawings of any nature. If somebody had just called it ahead of time, we could have avoided all this, Hubert said, according to the Daily Sentinel. Van Beck, Van Beck said, he was sorry it had to come to this. You don't desecrate the flag, especially for the veterans who fought the wars and died for it. In dictatorships, they have a picture of the dictator on some of their flags, but we haven't arrived at having a dictator yet. We haven't arrived at having a dictator yet. So, they took it down. Dominicans, you cannot just let that fly by. You cannot just let it fly by. You have to demand, you have to demand that wherever those flags are, they have to be destroyed and not shown anywhere in the world. And you have to hold Skerritt accountable for that. He was personally responsible for it because he was standing right underneath it. I do not care what Lennox Honeychurch tells you. It is an affront and you have to make scary it and those people in Malaysia and every other place where they have Dominica's flags with scary its image on it destroyed and never shown anywhere in the world again. Dominicans, Dominicans, do not let Skerritt get away with this one. Again, Skerritt has gotten away with too much. I beg you, not our flag. Not our flag. Thank you.